Hi guys, welcome back to Jungle Flowers Canada. Guys, before I start this video, I just wanted to fill you in on what's happening in my life at the moment. So um, I haven't been very well lately and I've actually taken um, a bit of a sabbatical from work. And um, if you are following me on Grania's Home and Kitchen, you'll know that I have also taken a sabbat sabbatical from doing videos on that channel. The reason I have decided to keep doing the videos on Jungle Flowers Canada is because plants are my therapy. They have been my therapy through these difficult times that I've been going through. I don't want to go into too much detail, but um, you know, I did have a major trauma in my life about a year and a half ago, and um, I, it did take, actually two years ago, and it did take me a long time to recover, and I've had a bit of a setback. Um, and I was initially not going to do any YouTube videos, but uh, plants, I know this is going to, going to sound so corny guys, but plants got me through it the last time and hopefully they will do the same this time. So I decided I would keep doing the videos for Jungle Flowers Canada um, just because it, it brings me so much pleasure. And also I hope that I have information that is helpful for you guys with regards to plant care. So that being said, without having to elaborate too much, I want to do a video on how to prepare my outdoor plants to come inside for the winter. Now we live in Canada and for those of you who live in Canada will know that this time of the year is when we start getting ready to bring those babies in. So I did a video which I may combine with this or may put up prior to this video being put up does that mean? Um, about how I prepare my basement for the winter time for my plants. So my basement, as you can imagine, is not the brightest place, but I use a lot of grow lights and some 5000 Kelvin shop lights. And I've had great success over the past few years taking care of my plants down there. But I wanted to make a spray and so that I can spray everything before I bring it in. And I just happened upon this amazing company. So let me tell you neem oil is so hard to find in Canada you can't buy it uh, even Amazon it's hard to find so um, I did a bit of research and I found this shop in Montreal it's an Indian shop actually let me get you the box till I get the details so it's um, an Indian online store and they had the neem oil do they have the name of it on here no they don't have the name I'll have to check my um, my my emails to get the name of it but anyway this Indian store in um, Montreal they sell Indian foods and supplies had these bottles they're a hundred mil of neem oil oh gosh I believe for 4 or 3 99 um, and I so I ordered three of them and they were shipped I'm not kidding you guys I got them in three days the shipping, I believe, was $5. I'm gonna confirm all this up here on the screen now. So we all have heard the benefits of neem oil for plants. It's an antifungicide, and it really is helpful um, for keeping your plants pest free. Now, there are lots of different recipes for making a, a plant spray, and I had heard that castile soap, pure castile soap was also very good for it. So again, I was thinking, what kind will I use? So I decided to get the one with tea tree oil because tea tree oil is also um, a repellent to pests. So I bought this on Amazon. I will put a link up um, for, for this as well. And then I just have a spray bottle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a spray. You can also use Dawn dish soap, I should say, but I thought the Castile soap, it, it's, such a, it's such a good soap need very little neem oil and very little castile soap. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to, I'm not going to measure, I'm just going to put a drop in. I will show you. So I'm just going to put a little drop of neem oil in there. You don't need much. Okay. Not, and you, you can see on the bottom there how much I put in. And I'm also going to put in a drop of my castile soap or castile soap everybody just pronounces things differently to me guys now I'm going to put on my lid how simple can that be guys oh, we all have allergies in the house everybody's sneezing so I've 
put this on and you can see the neem oils down the bottom so I'm just going to give it a little shake to try and get that to mix through. Still, it's very thick the neem oil so we'll just get that mixed right through. Difficult. Now I've, this is my first time using neem oil guys so I think the next time I do it I'll actually add the neem oil to the water and I won't add it first because you can see there's still a trace of it along the bottom. I'll add a tiny bit more. Let's see, does this sink to the bottom? Okay. <coughs> it doesn't smell very nice, guys. <coughs> Actually, it's good there's tea tree oil in there because it, uh, it actually takes over, uh, hides the smell of the neem oil. <coughs> it's stinky. Okay, so there's my spray. And let's go get those babies. Yes, I'm going to start with this. This is my succulent planter that I bring out every year. Now I did replant a lot of these new, but this year I'm going to try and keep them alive so that I can reuse them next year. Uh, there's one here that I will have to dehead and replant again, but let's just get it sprayed first before I bring it inside. So try and get into all the crevices. Okay. You know those dreaded mealybugs. And last year I did actually bring mealybugs in and it was such an, a pain to try and get rid of them. So spray your soil. And the, I can't see any mealybugs on here, but better to be prepared. And remember they like to hide underneath the leaves. So oh that the oil smells vile guys <coughs> okay so one down it's important to spray them guys because you don't know what you're bringing in and then before you know it they will infest all your plants and you'll have a big problem that you'll be constantly fighting so get them sprayed before you bring them inside I remember my peanut cactus that I had in the house got infested with mealybugs and I actually couldn't save it. I did try my best but it never survived. So I want to make sure it's okay. Okay, what do I have around this side? Oh yeah, this is, I love this. Um, I had this outside last year and it was huge. Now this one is kind of stretched. I don't think it was getting, even though it was outside, I don't think it was getting the best light. But um, I think next year I will move it to a different location. Oh no, it's my daughter's dog's hair. <laughs> I thought I saw spider webs on it, but it's not. Again, just try and get in underneath some. But of course, if you do find pests after you've brought your plants in, you know you can use this spray as well. Now, Echeveria are particularly bad because they can hide under the leaves. So again, now some of these you can see have stretched. I will be cutting these back and replanting them. And this here didn't actually make it. This was the, well, there's a few little ones alive, so I might try and save this. This was the string of watermelon, uh, but it didn't do very well. But actually, I can still see there's some alive, so I'll try and bring them back over the winter. Okay, guys, my orchid cactus. Now, I will say, when I got this from Valley View, I did notice that some of them had mealybugs. So I did spray this when I got it home and I haven't seen any. This one didn't have mealybugs but I did see one with mealybugs up there. So you know what, always make sure that you spray them. Now prior to this I used alcohol and you can use alcohol guys. But people have such good things to say about me now that I, whoops, wanted to give it a try. And do, while you're spraying, 
make sure you inspect it as well. Like I can see stuff here. But I think it's just regular spiders. Like. So I lost a lot of this, guys. I was so sad. And all I had were these little stumps in here. But I planted them and look, there's new growth. You can see. So this will come back. So I always say, guys, don't ever give up on a plant because you never know. It could very well come back and this is proof. So it came back. But this did have a bad mealy bug infestation and that's why I lost it in the first place. So we want to make sure we give it a good spray. Okay. This is mistletoe cactus and I love this plant. Um, and I did have a huge one, but I actually sold it because um, I guess I didn't have an appreciation for it at the time, but now I'm so sorry I did because I love it now. I love all the Ripsalis family. So I do have another little piece to plant in here, actually, which I should probably do now. And that way I can spray the whole thing together. So let me just make some space here for it. Lovely roots on it. And stick it in the middle. What is that? Oh! <laughs> That's like a green bug. Good job I didn't spray it uh, before I saw him, because I wouldn't want to kill him. He doesn't look like one of our nasties that we, that we worry about. So I think. This thing smells so bad. I wouldn't want to live on a plant that was sprayed by it. <laughs> so another succulent planter. This is a euphorbia, which I love. So I have a ripple jade in here. I have a variegated jade. That's some type of echeveria. And this is sticks on fire. This is my stapelia. And I did struggle with this last winter with mealybugs. But I think I did manage to get rid of them because I don't see any evidence of them now. But I want to make sure I give it a good spray. I need to actually make some more spray. Okay, I'm just going to go and make some more. So sprayed these babies guys this is my these are my ice plants which I love and I actually bought them in Canadian Tire for like $15.99 but I absolutely adore them and I'm going to keep them alive and bring them back out next year okay guys so there you have it uh, this is the first video I'm going to do on the preparation for overwintering I will do some more videos for you and I hope it will be a little series that will be enjoyable and informative for you guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel I would appreciate it and if you have any questions or comments please ask below have a wonderful day guys